Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Jason. Again, I'm your watch guy today. Now, we all have those watches that make us feel a little bit happy. I have plenty of them and I keep buying them because they make me feel happy. But today, I have a watch in called Happy Watch. Well, a brand called Happy Watches. They were kind enough to send me in one of their latest releases. And it's a little bit eccentric. It's a little bit out there. It's not going to be for everyone. But if you're into the weird watches, if you're, in, if you're into something a little bit different, this is definitely for you. Now, to be completely clear, they have sent this to me for free. I don't have to return it, but they haven't paid for this review. They did make me sign a little contract, though. That was a bit weird. It was basically just your video has to be over three minutes and get it out before a certain date. That really needs to be in a contract? I don't know. Anyway, let's turn this camera around, let's unbox this watch and let's review it. So guys, I am unboxing a watch from a Happy Watch Co, I think it is. Happy Watches, Happy Watch. Today, they've sent one in. This is a, a keeper. They don't want me to send it back. This is pretty much my payment for the video, I guess. That's what you can look at it as. Uh, obviously, fully honest review. They also let me pick which the hell I wanted, which was appreciated because, because this was my favorite. Well, it's well packaged, I'll give them that. Right, so this is my first encounter with this uh, company. Happy Watch, limited edition. I don't know how limited these are. What's this say? Designed and handcrafted by Happy Watch Shanghai. I mean, it's a nice box. Feels quite nice too. Let me pop this out. And again, the same on the back. So let's pop this little fella open. Let's see what we've got. Okay. So I picked the dragon because it reminds me of my girlfriend. No, no, I, I joke. I joke. She doesn't watch this though, so I'm good. Don't worry. But if I go missing, you know what's happened. Right, let's get the... I like when companies do this, you know, where they kind of box the watch head separately to the actual strap. Serial number CACUS U91. That's a weird one, isn't it? Established in 2019. Funny face limited edition, this one is. When I was looking at these, they, they did look quite out there. And you know what? I've actually seen them before. I actually saw them in a lot of Facebook ads. So I was happy enough to take this one in for review. Oh, we have a selection of straps. And this one is a bit of me. Right, so we have a nice reserved leather band with some red stitching. That is not the one that I'm gonna be picking because look at this. What is that? That's sick. That's a bit of me, that. Right, uh, let me pop. So uh, this'll be like your user manual and stuff like that. I guess it'll probably have a thing in it somewhere. A guarantee? No, no guarantee card, which is unusual. It's nice packaging to be fair. They're not the most expensive watches in the world, so I'm quite impressed by the packaging. It is a quartz watch. It has two different uh, individual movements in, I believe, but I'll leave all that for the review section of this video. So stick around for that. Let's peel this off. I do really, really enjoy peeling. Yeah. Stickers off watches, you know. It's the best part of buying a new watch. This gives it a bit of colour, this, doesn't it? I like that. Not that it needs any more colour. Look at that bloody dial. So, quick release bars on this one, so it should be nice and easy to fit. Here's a faux wire lug type of effect. I quite like that effect. Saw that also on the Trafford Watch Co. Right. So, there's the band fitted. Actually, that band really does give it some, some life, doesn't it? Let's um, take this off. I believe this is a bit of a fun watch, you know, something to express yourself with, I guess. You know, they're not exactly taking themselves excessively seriously with the Happy Watch name. And um, some of these dials are very, very eccentric. Uh, there's plenty of different dials to pick from too. There's a few cool ones. Uh, one of them's a gas mask and that was pretty, pretty cool. Uh, that was my second choice to this one. There we go. Right, all the packaging's off. So we have two crowns. We have the happy logo on here. And I'm not too sure what that logo is, but 
both signed. Now, it has two quartz modules in here, I believe. Now, I'm not going to lie, right? That's going to be a little bit uh, frustrating because unless this one moves it also, yeah, it doesn't. So, you're genuinely going to have to set the time at, like, the hour or, like, point up. Yeah, at the hour because, obviously, we don't have a minute track or a finger track around the edge of this so you'd have to set it so it's dead on an hour marker for instance i'll probably set mine at 12 tonight very very nice dial though isn't it very well done very eccentric as i say very colorful so that's the unboxing section of this video done i will be wearing this for a week or so just to get a good feel of it and you will see the review and unboxing after that So I have spent a week with this watch now and I feel like I'm, well I've spent actually two weeks or so with it, I feel like I'm in a good position to review it now, give you a good honest opinion of it and give you a good representation of it. Now it's a very pretty watch as you've probably just seen in the close ups, love that dial, love the work that's gone into it, it's really nice 3D effect to it. Now it's obviously a very well thought out watch, happy watch of heavily influenced by streetwear and you can see that it's obviously something that is meant to make a statement and it really does do that now it's actually quite comfortable on wrists so let me talk to you about the dimensions of it it is 33 millimeters by 32 millimeters on my measurements uh, lug to lug is 42 millimeters and it is nine millimeters thick obviously we have a quartz movement well two quartz movements in the back of this one which makes it very wearable on wrist. These lugs are 20 millimeter lugs. Well, at the 0.4D band, they are 20 millimeter lugs. Now, this does have two Japanese quartz movements in it. Now, they operate either eye or either timing element of this watch. So, obviously, we have the hour indicator here and the minute indicator here. Now we do have a sapphire piece of crystal on this one. As you can see, it sits up slightly from the case in itself. And it's actually a really premium looking sapphire crystal. Very nicely boxed, obviously. They're not gonna pick this one up off the shelf because it's an unusual size or the unusual shape. This is built in 316L stainless steel and we obviously have a black coating throughout the casing. I really do like these wire lug effects on this. I really do like the wired lug effects on this one. I think that's a really nice effect. It almost looks like a Hermes Cape Cod, or Hermes, is it? Hermes Cape Cod, with these little fins either end. Now this is obviously very much central around the fashion industry. If you have a look at their page, they have a lot of influencers who aren't like me, I'm not an influencer, I'm a reviewer. So they have a lot of influencers as, as, as well as handing these out to reviewers. So they are actually quite fashion forward. It's obviously a fashion item. Obviously not supposed to be the most serious timepiece in the world. It's a bit fun. It, it makes you a bit happy, which is very apt to this company. This is a press on case back. It is stainless steel, it has a brushed vertical finishing on it as we can see here we have the serial number at the top happy watch funny face limited edition established 2019 shanghai timepiece it is 30 meters of water resistance which is pretty much what you'd expect considering it doesn't have any screw down crowns and we have dual crowns also so splash proof at best on this one we have a signed crown at either end Moving on into this dial, you can see that's a very eccentric dial. They have plenty of other options. And actually, they make a limited run of these dials and then they move on to a different uh, 
aspect or a different design, which is quite nice because it's nice to change it up, give you new options to your clients, etc. etc. There's good reasons for that. As we move into the dial, though, it's it's absolutely gorgeous. I can't really fault them for it. It is 3D. It's it's obviously a very eye-catching piece. And honestly, I've had a lot of compliments on this one, which I didn't know if I expected. I thought it's going to be a hit or miss piece. But a lot of people in work liked it, a lot of passing comments. I, I think that this is a real winner on this. Now down at the 6 o'clock, or what be, would be the 6 o'clock position, we have the Happy Watch logo in this dragon's mouth. Really nice, vibrant colours on this dial. We have the hour markers around this eye here. As you can see, we have the 12, 3, 6 and 9 in Arabic numerals and dots on the rest of the indices. Now, this isn't a hand. It is a printed disc which moves all together. So there's no shadow or anything cast from that hand. And it really does add to the design of the watch that sort of pupil look is a very nice aesthetic on this one over here we have the minute indicator now these are run by two separate quartz movements and i will get onto that a little bit later in this review one thing to be said is that this isn't loomed in any way so as as you probably expect i mean i mean it's a dial that you wouldn't expect to have any loom on but all the same it's a beautiful dial now Let's move on to this band. This was supplied with a leather band, which was quite nice, and this rubber band. Now, this is actually a really comfortable band, and I really do like the design on this one. I like the print on it. We have two keepers up here, Happy Watch printed on this one, and a logo on the first one. Happy Watch on the buckle also, as well as being printed down the side of the strap itself. This strap's really comfortable on wrist. Let me pop it on this before we get on to our moan section. Now, it's not the biggest watch in stature, which really does help it. You're going to notice that it's quite, uh, it feels quite long, but it's not really. 33 millimeters. I mean, if this was a 33 millimeter diameter watch, we'd probably call it tiny. But the way that it's laid out in this box type of shape, it's actually quite wearable, as well as being noticeable on this and not too small. It's thin enough to be worn with a shirt and in a dress fashion. I actually really like it on wrist. It's a beautiful watch. It really is. I'm quite impressed by them, to be honest. Now, these are priced at $209 on the website. Uh, that is linked below in the description. For $209, you're not getting an automatic watch here. You are getting a quartz watch. However, the design of it is actually quite good and to be honest i don't think i can fault that price i think people will be interested at that price i think it's a good price however i do have some moans for this watch and first of all these dual movements that's not my favorite thing in this watch as you can see with it being a dual movement this has no effect on the hour hand and therefore you really do have to wait for an hour mark to set the time on this one which is a little bit fiddly and i actually found quite hard on the first day of having it i kept missing the bloody hour and that's a little bit annoying if i'm completely honest secondly the eyes aren't central now you won't notice it as much on the hour dial because well it moves slower but if we go to this uh, minute dial you can see that the dot on the eye is not central at all in fact it's quite quite a bit off and thirdly it's not going to be for everyone not everyone's going to like this type of eccentric fun watch it's going to be for someone who wants a type of party piece a fun piece in their collection it's not the standard of a seiko citizen an audience something that's cheap yet very functional and very desirable it's it's something that's fun and it's meant to be fun and that's not going to be for everyone However, overall, I'm a big fan of it. I think they've done really well. All I really have for Happy Watch is praise because they haven't set out to make a serious timepiece. They've set out to make a timepiece that represents street art, street fashion, and that complements fashion. And I think that really, they've nailed that. So 
well done to them. So guys, that is the Funny Face limited edition from Happy Watch. It's different, isn't it? It's, com it's completely out there. Look at how nice the 3D print is on that. It's actually a bronze dial, funny enough, with the print on top. Impressive, right? I think for $209, this one is a, a good deal. It's, it's not the best deal in the world. It's quartz watch at the end of the day. We do have sapphire crystal and it's an original idea. It's an original design. It's very well made. It's very well designed. So I think they're doing quite well on this one. Thank you to Happy Watch for sending this in. As I did say at the beginning, this is one to keep, so you can call this a paid promotion or whatever you want to call it. Uh, but honest review, as always, if you're not subscribed to the channel yet, please remember to subscribe and I will see you in the next one.